So the conventional approach to learning what stuff means is basically like this. You take Spanish words, hola, perro, chico, and you have these words, and then these words are associated to a specific meaning. So for example, chico means boy, perro means dog. Now, we want to, what we do in the conventional approach is we translate the meaning, as us teachers, we translate that Spanish meaning into an English meaning, something that you can relate to, something you already know. And then we give you the word. Why? Because you already know the English word for that similar meaning. Then what we're teaching you is how to translate in between the Spanish word and the English word. Perro, dog, chico, boy. And that's what you do when you use a flashcard application or a Duolingo type free app. What you're doing is you're just translating words from one language to the other, from your first language to your second and vice versa. Now, if you've tried this before, then you will have probably had lots of difficulty with it. And despite knowing how to translate very well, especially in a written form, you're not able to follow along and understand in a conversation. Now, we've already dealt with part of the problem, which is not being able to receive the signal, not being able to hear. But there's another problem on top of that. And the reason why the conventional approach does not work is because, well, first off, translation isn't just the act of recalling the word link, you know, chico, boy, perro, dog. It's also the act of a plot memorizing grammar rules and then feeding those words into those grammar machines and then translating that into something. So I say, okay, well, I'm speaking third person singular. I need to drop off the AR, add on this thing, blah, blah, blah. So you're doing all these transformations when you do translation in your head. And it's very mechanical. And the thing is running that mechanical machine might not be difficult when you have time and you're sitting there reading and writing and translating something. But in a conversation, Spanish is spoken at an average of eight syllables per second. Now, eight syllables can be anywhere from, you know, uh, five words to two words, whatever it may be. But multiply that over the course of a minute. How are you going to be doing all of those machinations rapid speed in real time and still keep up? And the common frustration I hear from people is that, well, I know these words and when I'm still trying to translate, you know, sentence number one, he's already on sentence number 41, right? So it just, you can't keep up. So the problem ultimately with the conventional approach of translation is that it's too slow, right? So to understand how do we get out of this trap, you need to understand the difference between translating something and knowing something. So we have here on our diagram, we have Spanish words linked to the Spanish meaning, English word linked to the English meaning. So when we're translating, we're going from one language to the other. So that's Spanish guy's experience and meaning. I'm trying to translate that to something similar in English. And then the word chico, hola, right? So we're staying in this realm here. But knowing doesn't require translation. So for example, the meaning of, of boy, I just know what that means. I'm not doing any other translation. It's just as soon as someone makes the sound boy, boy, uh, an image pops into my mind of a, of a small male child, right? Boy, dog, or, or. There's, a, there's a meaning that's automatically associated because I know it which means that when you're trying to learn how to understand or know Spanish, you don't actually need to worry about this corner with English words and translations. All you need to worry about is this connection between the Spanish sound and the meaning. And when I say universal meaning, as you get more practice and experience interacting with Spanish people in a Spanish context, then your world of meaning starts to expand not just from your first language, but to Spanish. And the way you're able to do that, the way it's even possible for us humans to connect with each other is because we have universal meanings deep within us, shared experiences deep within us. So what I'm saying here is that your goal is not to translate. Your goal is just to intuitively develop a knowledge of these Spanish sounds and the meaning that's captured within them.